Oh man, it's first out of Watkins on the edge. Okay, um, I wanted to talk about some uh, movie reviews here real quick, and then we'll we'll touch on I want to we'll touch on some Bradley stuff here too. Um, some events coming up. Um, yes, check out. Uh, it's I wanted to talk about some movies because like okay, so. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a movie guy. I mean, just like anybody, I'm a bit I'm I'm a big movie guy, movie junkie, I guess you could say. Um, so there's really okay. So there's three movies that I'm gonna say I really want to see like this fall. Um, and no, it's not Dumb and Dumber Two, and it's not yeah, it's not Dumb and Dumber Two. That one, or actually, there's four movies. I lie. There's four movies I want to see. That Dumb and Dumber Two movie looks absolutely stupid. It just the one from '94 was. Pretty good. It was, you know, it was good. I mean, it was, it was probably. It, it's a, it's a movie that's like we remember for a long, long time, right? Obviously, um, but the second one just looks absolutely stupid. There's like four movies I want to see. The first one that comes out this Friday, it's called The Equalizer, and it's with my guy Denzel Washington. He's like my second. He's my second favorite actor behind Leonardo. Um, it's from like the directors of Training Day. And it's with that girl from Kick Ass and Kick Ass Two. Her name's Chloe uh, Chloe Metz, I think her name is. She was Hit Girl in those films, and he like she gets kidnapped, and he's a guy that's like he works at this warehouse, and he was like he's like a quote unquote knight, but he's like a I don't know how you'd say it, like his agent or whatever, or you know just a badass. And he just he he basically has to take on the Russian mafia, I believe it is, and save Chloe Metz and. It's pretty, it's Denzel, it's like Denzel from Training Day kind of movie. It's like Man on Fire, and it reminds me of Man on Fire and Training Day like mixed together. It looks absolutely sweet. At, oh, it looks so sweet. Like, like I really want to go see that. The next movie I want to see is called Fury, and it's with Brad Pitt and Shia LaBeouf, and, um, I forget what the other guy's name is. He's from, uh, he was in Perks of a Wallflower. And if you remember seeing that movie with Hermione and I forget what the other guy is. And it was, it was kind of a weird movie. It was like a, it was kind of a sad movie, honestly. And, uh, anyway, this one, Fury, is about World War II. And it's about these guys that are in the tanks and how they got to fight through the, Ger the Britain, you know, fight, fight through the Germans and stuff. And, and Brad Pitt's in it. And I, that one, it looks like a really good war movie. Um, I don't know about Shia LaBeouf. He's kind of gone downhill ever since the whole Transformers thing, I feel like. But Brad Pitt definitely carries that, for sure. Um, the third movie I want to see is called Interstellar. And this one's gotten some this one's gotten some promotion here over the past maybe month or two. This one's with our guy Matthew McConaughey, who beat out Leonardo last year at the Academy Awards for Best Actor. Um... So, what's the guy's name? Michael Crane from Batman. It's directed by Christopher Nolan, the guy who directed The Dark Knight and the Bat the Batman Batman trilogy. Um, it looks... It's about Matthew McConaughey, and he goes... The world is like... There's no more food left in the world. And the world's basically like... It's basically the end of the world, and I gotta find a new place to live. And he's like... He's like an astronaut engineer guy who goes up in space and tries to find a new place for... And sort of like... Try to uh, survive. Try to uh, blah, blah, blah. try to help his family survive, basically, and the world. And try to save the world, basically. And it's Matthew McConaughey, and it looks like he puts on a pretty good performance in it. I don't know. The, from the trailer, it looks really awesome. Um, then the last one I want to see is called it's called Wild, and it's with Reese Witherspoon, and it's about this girl who basically like has like a really crappy life and she just like goes off and lives her life in the wild and it looks really like it's from the directors of uh dallas buyers club so you know it's going to be really good i mean that movie was amazing dallas buyers club um and it's a role that she probably hasn't really played before and I'm, it's going to be interesting to see what she does in that one i i want to see that one too that one looks good um so the Equalizer comes out this Friday. Um, Fury comes out, I think, like the first of first or second week of October. Interstellar comes out in November, I believe, and then December is uh, that Wild movie with Reese Witherspoon. That one comes out like the first week of December or something like that. So 
I'm pretty, uh, there's some pretty good movies coming out, just to, just to give you all a heads up. Um, I definitely want to go see those movies. <laughs> so, with that, uh, I'm going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about some Bradley events, and then we'll wrap up the show here. So, we'll be right back, so stay tuned. 